I'm Jen. And I'm Matt. And we live in Osaka, Japan. We moved to Osaka in September of 2016. We've been here just over three years. When I was a teenager, um, I was reading the Bible for the first time and, and really felt like um, I was understanding that Jesus cared about the nations. And I wanted to care about the things that he cared about. And over time, I really felt like he was telling me to, to go into missions. I just didn't know where he would send me. I felt called to Japan um, basically after I had listened to a sermon uh, from a guy who had spent his career in Papua New Guinea. So he was talking about um, biblical mandate to reach the unreached. And, uh, and I thought, wow, um, I've never asked God if I should be a missionary or not. Maybe I should give him the option. Uh, so I prayed about it and felt like he was telling me to look at Japan, which actually didn't make any sense to me because I just assumed that Japan had plenty of missionaries. It's a first world country. I Googled it and it turns out they really need missionaries. Mm -hmm. Second largest unreached people group in the world. To live in Japan, you really need to have perseverance. So that's really what the, the main quality that a person has to have. It takes a long time to get here a lot of times, and then the language itself just takes perseverance. You have to stick with it. Um, and relationships take perseverance. Um, but once you can get deep enough with people into that relationship, you can really have some, some good fruit from that. Um, but it does take some time, so you just have to have someone that, that knows the investment ahead of time. A lot of the problems in Japan are just uh, this pervasive sense of hopelessness. Um, and that comes from not um, having Christ as an option to put your hope in. So when we pray for Japan, we're, we're praying um, that that hopelessness would be broken. Um, and that they would come to know Christ and that that would be the place that they put their ultimate hope. I didn't understand the need for missions until I really looked at the Great Commission and realized that it wasn't optional. Um, that you're either part of sending somebody or you're actually going yourself. I think it just is a willing heart. Um, asking the Lord, like, what do you have for me? And wherever you want me to go and whatever you want me to do, my life is yours. So, so lead me and, and, and take me where you want to take me.